In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you're able to set up donations for your kick live streams utilizing stream elements. So jumping straight into the video, the very first thing you want to do is come over to streamelements.com and I'm going to make sure that I have a link to this down in the description below so that we guys can go ahead and go directly to this page. And so once you're here, you're going to come up to the top right hand corner. You're going to select this option that says to log in. It's going to provide you with three options and you want to sign in with your kick account. It's going to bring you directly to a page where you're going to go ahead and allow access. And you're also going to put in your credentials to sign in to your kick account. Once you've officially signed in, you'll be brought directly to the stream elements dashboard. And so from here, you're going to come over to the left hand side. You're going to select revenue and you're going to come over to tipping settings. This is where we're going to go to set up our donation page. And so what you're going to do from here is connect your PayPal account. So it provides you with an option on the right hand side that says connect. And then if you do not have one, it's going to bring you directly to the PayPal website as to where you're able to put in your email address so that way you can go ahead and sign in with your PayPal account. Now, quick disclaimer, you do have to be at least 18 years old or older in order for you to have a PayPal account. And so if you are above the age of 18, go ahead and put in your email address to either create or to sign in to your existing PayPal account. Once you've put in your email address to either create or to sign into your account, you'll be brought directly to this page right here. And the only thing you have to do is just click this button to return right back to stream elements. And you would know that your account has successfully been connected when you see your email address pop up right here. And so what we're going to do is scroll down a little bit. We're going to come down to page settings. And so this is where you're going to go to set up your currency as well as your tipping presets. Now I currently live in the United States, so I'm going to leave mine at USD. However, if you live in another country, they do have a drop down menu with all countries for you to select your appropriate currency. And so once you have that selected, you can then change your minimal amount as to how much somebody can donate to you. I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine at $1. And then for the maximum amount, I'm going to leave it at no limit so that way they can donate as much as they want. For the suggested amount, we're also going to leave that at a dollar so that way people don't spam like cents inside of your chat. For the maximum message length, you can actually leave this at 255. There's no reason for anybody to message any more than that. So 255 is the appropriate length I would leave it at. Now, the next section here is going to be for security purposes. So if we were to click on this drop down menu, it provides us with two options. The first option will allow the tippers to edit their username in case if they wanted to donate anonymously. And the second option is going to lock in the username to match their login credentials. So what this means is that they will have to sign in to their PayPal account if they want to be able to donate to you. And this is going to prevent chargebacks from happening to your account. So if somebody in the past ended up donating to another streamer and they did chargebacks, then this is actually going to protect you so that way you don't have to be a victim of that as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn mine on just in case if somebody wanted to donate anonymously. And I highly recommend leaving this option checked. So once again, this just goes back to the chargeback protection option. So just leave that checked so that way you don't have to ever worry about um, being hit with a chargeback. And so down here is your tipping preset. So you can set this however you like. This is basically just to allow your viewers to donate to you really quickly without having to put in any type of effort. So for me, I like to just put mine in intervals of $5. So we're going to do 5, 10, 15, 20, and $25. Now you're only allowed to have up to five presets. And so this is going to show up on your donation page. Once we customize the overall design, just make sure that you have this checked and you're now good to go. So now we're going to come down to design. And this is basically where we're going to customize the overall look of our donation page. So you can actually go ahead and give this a title. So for me, I'm going to say Trey Rashad donation page. And then you could put in a little message down here as well. So it can be like, thank you for donating to the channel. And then if you want to add in their username, then you can do the curly brackets. That's what I call them. I, curl, I call them curly brackets. And then you're going to put user. And then at the end, you're just going to do an exclamation point. 
And so when somebody ends up donating to the page, it's going to say thank you for donating to the channel and whatever their username is. Now, if you don't already have any backgrounds or banners, then I highly recommend checking out Etsy. Now, the one thing that I love about Etsy's catalog when it comes to the streaming section is the fact that you can get banners, overlays, alerts, and so much more for as little as 25 cents. And they all come inside of a package, so you're getting more than one. And so they have different themes, different aesthetics that you guys can go for, and you can pick and choose exactly what it is that you want. So I recommend just coming over to Etsy, figuring out exactly what it is that you like. Make sure you're filtering it out um, by lowest to highest if you wanna get the lowest price options, which like I said, 25 cents, and then pick out exactly what you wanna add for your overlays. So now once you have your background as well as your header added, you can go ahead and scroll down a little bit and just check both of these boxes, which is to show the leaderboard. This basically just showcases the top 10 donators that you had on your donation page, as well as to show the total amount that's on your leaderboard. Personally, I like to have these, so I'm gonna leave mine checked, but that's up to you if you wanna have that. And so what we're gonna do now is come down to the next section, which is gonna be the tip panel setup. And this is gonna be your link. So you're basically just gonna copy this link. But before we do that, we're gonna scroll down one more and we're gonna go to our tip moderation. And what you're gonna to wanna to do from here is check this option to enable automatic tip message filtering. So basically, if you want to stop any type of profanity, if there's certain words that you wanna prohibit, this is the option that you're gonna to wanna to check so that way it doesn't show up on your screen. And so what you're gonna do is check this option right here to basically stop the profanity, or you can go ahead and check this option right here so that we can put in any words that you wanna have filtered out. And then if you want to enable a TTS anti-spam, which is basically text-to-speech spam, you can enable this so that way those messages don't continue to show up on your screen. And then if you're somebody that wants to manually approve each and every donation that you receive, then you can go ahead and check this option right here as well. I'm not gonna do that because I just want mine to come through automatic. And so once you have that done, you're gonna come right back up to the tip panel setup and you're just gonna click on this copy icon right here to go ahead and copy your link. You'll know that it copied it because it shows up right there. All right, so we're now officially on kick. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your profile icon on the top right hand corner. If you're not logged in yet, then you wanna go ahead and log into your account. You then wanna come over to your channel you want to go to your about section and then you want to go to edit panels. Now I already have a donation panel right here. However, if you want to get something similar to this, that's where Etsy is going to come in at. So if you've downloaded any type of panels or overlays from Etsy, you should have a panel section and it should have one that says donate. So for this video, we're going to add a new one. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click the plus icon. I'm going to title this donation. I'm going to go ahead and add an image. For me, it's either going to say donate, so I can do donate, or I can do PayPal. I'm just going to go ahead and do donate. I am then going to go ahead and copy the link that we got from Stream Elements, and then you can put in any type of description that you want. I'm just going to come up here, I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to paste it here. You can basically put whatever it is you want down here. It's basically just a disclaimer for donating. And so once you have that set, you're just gonna click on create. You will now see that it has saved. And then if you wanna move this around, you can just click and hold it, then just drag it anywhere. So I'm gonna drag it up to the top. And once you're done, you can now click exit and you will see a donation right here. So now, only thing you really need to do is basically click on it and it's automatically going to bring you directly to your donation page. Now, if you want to edit your panels, then you're going to come back, click edit panels. If you don't want the title, then you can automatically just remove it, click update, exit, and it's now officially good to go. You click on it, it brings you right back to the same donation page. And so with that being said, that is how you're able to set up donations for your kick live streams. 
And so if you made it to the end or if you found this helpful, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And in case if you want to learn the best settings for live streaming, then make sure you click on this video right here and I'll walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that utilizing OBS Studio.